In this video, we're going to look at how to create speech bubbles on an image. To start with, we need to uh, provide some contrast so we can see black letters against what might be dark. So we're going to create a transparent layer, and then we're going to paste white into it, but we will uh, change the opacity so that we can only, well, so we can see the picture through it. So we'll go down to 50% opacity. And now we'll fill up that layer. Okay, so now the text will be visible. All right, now we're going to put some text out there. Uh, this will be a speech bubble first. Make some nice big letters, and we'll we'll center it so that it looks good. And Right there. Now we're going to have to put the bubble around it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer, and this is a transparent layer. Um, we want this underneath the text. So, and this is where the bubble will be, and it will be uh, white to show up. So we use our elliptical selection, and now we want to have the part that goes down toward his mouth so we will use the path tool and click on it three times once at the top once near his mouth and once up the, uh, there and then right click to get it back and select it and now we can shift uh, I have to get it right we have to hold down the control and we can bend those so that we get the right appearance and then we'll go back to the path tool and we'll do a shift selection from path and so that adds it the selection and now what we can do is fill that speech bubble up and we'll fill it with white so again we'll go back to our fill tool now I forgot the first time and did it with 50% opacity which you could have if you wanted but I'll go ahead and make it all white that's what I want and now we want to put a border around it so you what you do is a select to path and that sort of figures out where the border is going to be and then you do the edit stroke path and you put a, a stroke size we did six is a default so we'll use that and there we get our nice speech bubble and now we're going to do a thought bubble which looks a little bit different okay so we'll put our text up for the thought bubble We'll use our, our elliptical tool back on that same layer because it's available. Um, we'll go there and we'll do our elliptical selection. But this time, what we're going to do is make those little, little smaller elliptical um, shapes to go down to the person. So we're going to change that to an add to the selection, so that the selection will stay selected. Make little, a couple little round parts going back up. Now the selection consists of those three bubbles, so we'll go back to fill, make sure we're on the right layer, and then we'll fill that in, and then we've got our thought bubble. And now the last thing we have to do is we have to get rid of the that um, partially opaque layer, which we just used for contrast. So oh yes, we're going to add the the borders first. And then we'll go back and we'll add the, we'll delete the that layer of contrast. And now we have the original picture with the thought bubbles. We'll turn selection off so we can see it properly. And that's what it, that's all it takes. Thank you. 